This is Unips of Fantasia here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the Am Better Health 400 at Atlanta here. So yeah, so let's get started here. So also, if you may have noticed before we uh, before we actually begin here, I'm using the diecast again. Um, so I just go with the diecast for the night dose, and I just don't feel like doing like of how I've done it, like what I said before. So yeah, just tonight we'll just be using diecast. And yes, this time I'm I'm actually uploading at the night of the race here, so. Yeah, so hopefully I can like try it and keep doing this more here. So yeah, so I'll try and stay on the schedule that for yeah. Uh, so yeah, but now let's get on here. So as we know here, Lugano managed to pull off a charge at the end of this race here, after leading over a hundred laps today, and he managed to um, get his first win of his championship defending season. So yeah, so. Yeah, this is Lugano's first win of the year. I mean, he started on pole today, led a bunch of laps, and managed to beat his former teammate Brad Kozlowski to the end of this and win it. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, but I mean, I mean, overall, though, in my thoughts, this race was average here because, I mean, stage one and stage two were honestly boring because there honestly was not a lot happening. Like, there was only one incident in, um,. Um, stage one where Bubba Wallace just spun out and hit the wall, like, yeah, I mean, but, yeah, I mean, that was the only incident from the first two stages, but the final stage, the worst um, incidents, which we're going to talk about a little later, so yeah, I mean, and this right here is, of course, our top five here, I mean, one surprise you can see here is actually Corey LaJoy here in fourth place, like, this is now his second top five at Atlanta here, or like, Honestly, Corey LaJoy is actually really good here with two top five he and two top fives here and almost winning it in, in July last year. But yeah, I mean, but now and not to mention because of all the penalties from Hendrick and Colic, he's now like 14th in points because of it. So pretty surprising about that there. So yeah, and not to mention that also we have Reddick there in fifth after um dealing with some stuff this morning like. Well, like, I mean, it looked like he was not going to race because, um, of some things that were going on. But, yeah, but, I mean, just, and, of course, Chris Bell there in third, and Brad Kozowski, who almost won this race. Like, honestly, I was kind of pulling for him at the end, even though I'm not a fan of Brad, but I was kind of hoping for him to win it there because he hasn't won in a long time. So, it would have been cool if he would have won this race here. So, yeah, but, yeah, so, I mean, just put... Yeah, not to mention that basically Penske dominated today with 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 um two of their cars winning the stages, which Lugano won um stage one and Cindric won stage two. So yeah, I mean Penske was really good today since the Fords were fast. So yeah. But yeah, just that's what I have to say there though about um that. But yeah, just and talking about some other stuff here, um of course one of the instances was of course Bob Wallace's wreck. And um Later on in stage three, um, after we started hit, um, there was also that incident when Harvick got wrecked there, like, and that ended up collecting more cars like Busher, McLeod, um, trying to think of any of um, Josh Berry also got wrecked there, William Byron too, so yeah, I mean, they all got wrecked there, I mean, we got, I mean, all of us thought that Chastain, um, wrecked Harvick there, but it actually turned out that Harvick just got loose there, and which eventually caused them to crash there. So it was not Chastain's fault for that one there because Harvick just got loose and just took out some cars with him. So yeah, so I mean, I mean, I mean, it sucks that Harvick got out, but yeah, I mean, I mean, it is what it is here. So yeah, so I mean, that's what just what happened there. So yeah, and and of course, even my driver Kyle Busch got involved in that there, but he he didn't hit anything and. He managed to um, at least get 10th today, so I'm at least glad for that there. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, I mean, just at least glad that he managed to finish, though. So, yeah, but, I mean, just, and then later on, and, um, and later on after that incident, there was also the incident when, um, Almirola got wrecked from the lead and took out Larson with him. 
because apparently Amaral did not take tires on his last stop, which eventually caused him to blow one. So, yeah, I mean, being, I mean basically what happens when you don't take tires. So, yeah. But, yeah, those were basically just, like, the stuff there of, like, the incidents. So, yeah. And um, some other stuff I wanted to just talk about here. Um, Like, I just wanted to at least speak about Atlanta here. Like, I mean, just honestly, though, I mean, with this race here today, I'm just... I don't know what they'll be doing, though, with, um, this track. Like, I'm not sure if they are going to keep, like, the Super Speedway package on this here. Like, I mean, I think it's fine, but I kind of like the, like, how Atlanta used to be. I mean, I knew they had the, and they, they knew, I knew they had to repave it eventually since the old one was old. But, yeah, I mean, just me. I was not just expecting them to use the Super, super Speedway racing. So, yeah, I mean, not to mention also yesterday's Xfinity race was pretty bad because, um, at one point, um, um, at one point they actually ran a caution lap, uh, ran caution laps for around 22 minutes, which, honestly, that was ridiculous right there. Like, they shouldn't have honestly just, like, red flagged the racer if it was going to take that long. Like, it was only just for a three-car wreck, and they just went, uh, they just went for around 22 minutes under caution. Like, I don't know what the heck was that about, though, so, yeah. But, yeah, though, so, I mean, just, but, yeah, I don't like, I mean, just, I don't know what was up with that, but that was ridiculous, so, yeah. But, honestly, though, just, I don't know what Atlanta will do in the future, though, if they're gonna, like, um, um, just, like, I mean, like, use a super speed package for more. I mean, I don't know, though, but we'll just see what happens, though, with that, though, in the future, though, I mean, just... I mean, who knows, maybe soon may use the mana package back here, but who knows what they're going to do, though, so yeah. But, I mean, overall, though, I mean, just, this race was fine, though, but just not my favorite Atlanta race. I mean, I'm not really sure what's my favorite Atlanta race. It was maybe the July race, maybe. I mean, I don't know, though, but just, I'll have to look back on it. Or maybe the spring Atlanta race last year, just, I don't know, though. I'll have to look back on those, though, so yeah. But, so, I mean, just, yeah, just... I mean, of course, uh, Atlanta, though, is home to many good memories, though. So, yeah, but, yeah, so, I mean, just, but that's what I had to say there, though, about um that there. So, yeah, I mean, just, overall, it was average race here, but I just kind of wish it could have been a little better. But, yeah, but, I mean, just, but that's what I had to say there, though, about um, this here. So, yeah, and for um upcoming videos here, um I'll actually have maybe another one either tonight or um tomorrow because it is, um, this video here is actually another video about the Unibus of Weed Spray Train because I actually caught it again today and I actually chased it from here in Hutto to Thrall, Texas. So that video will be out either tonight or tomorrow. So yeah, and of course there'll be um regular train videos this week. So yeah, so yeah, look forward to those coming out though. So yeah, and also um another thing I want to mention here is that um. This Sunday here for the next race at, at Circuit of the Americas, I am actually going to be there in person for the third straight year. Like, this is going to be my seventh race in person and my third race at Coda. So, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this trip here. So, yeah, and I'll be taking videos, though, to post for the, you know, post on my channel. So, yeah, probably after um I get back from the race, I'll still do my race review. And, um, and yeah, I'll also post a video about... um the videos I took on the track, so yeah, so yeah, so looking forward to my trip at Coda, so yeah, so looking forward to it, so yeah, so yeah, but that's what I have to say there though for um, this year, so yeah, but so looking forward to my trip at Coda, and of course, stay tuned for more videos coming out this week though of what, what they'll be, so yeah, so hope you guys understand there, so yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.